my path has not been straight. Um, nor would I want it to be straight. I mean, I, I've, I, I'm interested in a lot of different things. And um, I'm actually envious of people that have had a very clear focus. Uh, for example, there's a colleague of mine who's now uh, living in Cleveland, and his interests have been uh, very focused. And he's been on that path. It's been jazz and psychology scholarship generally. Uh, publishes, wrote a book called Jazz Styles, Mark Ridley I'm talking about. Uh, very focused. And uh, when I spoke, when I speak to Mark about, for example, Bob Dylan I mentioned uh, years ago, Bob Dylan turned 60 years old, absolutely no interest in this. For Mark, it's a, a very clear path. He knows what he's interested in and can filter out all the distractions. That works for him. It doesn't work for me. You know, I'm interested in you know, just lots of different things, but I don't have the uh, sense of focus that, that Mark has. Um, my passions are uh, more uh, diffuse, more diverse. So I don't have any advice. You know, you really have to find out what, what works for you. There are a lot of people who, I think, uh, can find a commitment, a focus in a particular area, and that keeps them, that keeps them going, that nourishes their soul. Other people are uh, likely to show lots of diverse paths, and go in lots of different directions. And that's more what I do. So, more of a dilettante than uh, Mark is. Uh, perhaps. I, I think there might be a better word than a dilettante, though, because you uh, dive pretty deep into the many areas that you're interested I in. I look for connections. One thing yes. I do, for example, with, with psychology and music, I found ways to bridge the two. So one of the areas that I have with regard to uh, research is uh, the psychology of, of music, how music affects us, how music affects us emotionally. And, and, you've, uh, and you've found a perfect colleague in that with Mark. With Mark, right. Yeah, and, and Marilyn Lebowski, who teaches at our college as well, also a musician, a jazz singer, and she's also interested in the connections between personality and music preferences, things like that. Is that something that you and Mark and Marilyn, perhaps others, um, tend to share with the community beyond uh, publications? Do you ever have, you know, a public forum about it or open discussion about it off of the campus or beyond the campus, I should say? Public forum. Um. Online or yeah, in person. there have been some uh, blogging activities, things like that, and there is a group of people that I've been connected with in in Brooklyn in this regard, but not anything official, you know, not anything formalized. So it's pretty much been talking to students who are like-minded. Every once in a while, I'll find some student who is. Uh, a musician, jazz performer perhaps, and have that student turned on to psychology yes. and nurture those connections. So I, I I guess if they're, you know, returning to your earlier question, you know, I, I do advise people to look for those those bridges between what they're interested in now and other areas that they might be interested in and finding connections between those. So I think we often tend to compartmentalize our passions and looking for connections between between those, I think, can be uh, very useful. With the relatively recent emergence of music therapy, research on such things as the Mozart effect, um, the influence of music on plants, on you know, human emotions, etc., uh, I would love to know if you ever expand that public discussion. Uh, I think that the, the timing of it uh, may be very fortuitous. Mm. 
Well, we do have a music therapy program uh, at Mercier's, and we have some students who are interested in um, music therapy and psychology. Some students have taken a psych major, music therapy minor, or conversely, music therapy major, psych minor, or have contracted uh, their own major, basically assembled courses from various departments to create their own major, which combines the two. That's very exciting. So um, I, I like the idea of, of somehow developing an opportunity for students who have that kind of interest in psychology and music, faculty who have similar interests, people from the community at large coming in and, and maybe constructing some kind of you know, ongoing discussion group uh, or some other public forum in which people who have these interests can come together. We have people, uh, for example, in the Jazzery board like Chuck Joy, who's uh, very interested in music, also interested in poetry, has taught a poetry therapy course here at Mercyhurst. So there are people who have refracted their interests in a variety of ways, and I think they can come together and really share, share insights.